Welcome to Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies, where we make innovation work through simulation, product development, and rapid prototyping. As an ANSYS channel partner, we sell and support the full suite of ANSYS tools in the Southwest United States. We have offices in Southern California, Colorado, New Mexico, and in Utah. And our headquarters is in Tempe, Arizona. In addition, we provide training, mentoring, and simulation consulting with these ANSYS tools worldwide. Hello everyone, this is Manoj with PADT. In today's focus video blog, I'm going to show you an easy way to extract the fluid volume from a structural model using ANSYS space claim. So here we are in ANSYS space claim, where you can see that I brought in a model of an arc jet. Let's take a look at the inside using the cross-section view so we can see the flow paths that go through the inside. So if you can see here, we have a primary flow path that goes through the center of this nozzle and goes out through these two pipes on either side. Then we also have some cooling channels at the top and bottom. We're interested in the primary flow path right here. Now. Traditionally, what you would have to do in CAD tools is to create some sort of a box around the model and then essentially boolean out the solid. Well, in space claim, you don't have to do that and you won't run into sort of issues with slivers and non-manifold body errors and things of that nature. In space claim, what we can do here is essentially go up to the prepare tab, go to the volume extract tool, and utilize its features to simplify that process. The first thing it's going to ask you to do is select the faces that bound the enclosed volume that you're interested in. For me, I'm going to select the center face, so I'm going to select this face, and I don't have to hit control to select multiple faces here. I can simply click on this other one, and finally the third face down here to select this as a bounding surface. The next thing I just need is a seed face, and a seed face essentially is any face inside the flow domain that I'm interested in at that time. So I'm going to select this face. Now instead of hitting the checkbox, I can go here to the left and click on this checkbox for preview inside faces. What it's going to do is it's going to take a look at my seed face and my bounding surfaces and tell me if my fluid domain is encapsulated within a particular enclosed region. If it is, it would only show the fluid wetted area as red. However, you can see that everything is red here, which indicates that there is a problem even before I try to do the volume extract. Now, usually you would have to figure out where you forgot to close an orifice, or if you have slivers or issues with the geometry, etc. But what SpaceClean provides is a slider that you can roll back on the fluid volume creation of the wetted surface to see at exactly what point the fluid volume leaks to the outside environment. So you can see here I keep going, I keep going, I still see more on the outside and at some point right here, let's back up a couple steps here, you can see that it exposed out at this pipe for some reason. Now we can rotate the model and we see, oh yep, there is another surface that we forgot to choose as a bounding surface here. So I can simply go again to the select faces Again, I don't have to select control, nor do I need to select the other faces again. Click on this face, and now again go to the preview inside faces option. And you'll see in this time, only the wetted surfaces of my fluid domain that I'm interested in are selected. So now I'm happy, and I can hit the check mark, and SpaceClean will go and create the volume for me. So if we take a look at that here, we can open that into a new component and examine the fluid domain. Pretty easy compared to the traditional boolean subtract operation. Now what we can actually do is we can actually modify the geometry, the 3D geometry as well and still manipulate the volume extract. For example, let's say I want to expose and pull this face on. If I pull this, now we can see that the volume extract does not operate properly. But if I go down to the volume and right click on the solid of the volume and say update volume body as created, you'll see it goes ahead and updates the geometry of the volume to fit the solid manipulation that we've just did. 
So for anyone doing CFD analysis where we need to extract the, the fluid domain from a structural uh, model, SpaceClean provides this really neat feature of the volume extract to make things very simple and easy uh, for engineers to follow along with. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe as we'll be doing more videos on tips and examples in ANSYS. Feel free to jump on our website at pdtinc.com or give us a call at 1-800-293-PADT or email us at tech at pdtinc.com.